Hi, I'm Shelley. Hi, my name is Carol. Hello, my name is Helen and I'm a food blogger. Hi, my name is Isabel. you know it was just all a bit boring and then I moved to Peckham and it, everyone's different you know there's such a mix of people here well the reason I did rhubarb is because it's really interesting from a family point of view my my uncle who I talked about before was a market gardener he was the first person to bring what they call the green top rhubarb to the supermarket that's the rhubarb that's grown out in the field, as opposed to the whiter rhubarb, which is forced rhubarb, which is grown in dark sheds, very hot sheds, dark, and literally it's forced to grow much more quickly. In. I don't know why we did that, it's just something that you know my mum did and my grandma did, so I guess it brings out the flavour of the rhubarb a bit. And the white sugar. And a bit of this I'll have to just go by taste, but we start off with that. Whenever I do this I always think of my domestic science lessons where they used to say don't cut towards your hand. You do. Sometimes I have cut my hand. I live here on my own, so that's why I did those dishes today because they're a reminder of what I have at home. So it's, it's a really good uh, reminder of, I guess, home actually, because when you're on your own, you, you just, that's when you tend to miss all the things that are not there with you. 